Travis, I guess, what's different maybe for you now than, than a year ago? Yeah, um, I think there's it's quite a bit different. Uh, <laughs> you know, with Jack leaving, um, I got to step up in my leadership role. Um, you know, I think Austin and I are uh, two veterans in our room, um, and two veterans on the team. So I think that um, my leadership role uh, and my need to uh, step up and uh, you know, hold guys accountable um, and get on, get on guys' rear ends when things aren't going well. Um, and, you know, then um, get on the guys when things are going well, too. So, um, yeah, I just have to say part of my leadership role. Is that, is that something that comes naturally to you? Is that something you kind of had to work on a little bit? Uh, you know, I, I'd like to think it comes naturally, but yeah. I think, you know, I've had to work on it a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm actually in a leadership class oh, that yeah. I'm taking, so that's that's helping. Um, but, no, I, I think you can always become a better leader um, every day, um, and that's something I struggle to work on every day. Hey, Travis, having been here a couple of years now, can you speak to um, to Adrian Martinez and just the, uh, talk about leadership and the, the kind of qualities that you've seen from him and the way that he's grown in the couple of years you've been in the program? Yeah, uh, and I'm sure you guys saw the video that came out. And Adrian, he's a dude. Uh, he, he's definitely our team's number one leader um, and he's grown uh, ever since I got here what three years ago uh, you know I think he's become a vocal leader uh, and he leads by example too uh, so I, I think he's he's definitely uh, one of one of the team's best leaders. I mean it's hard to comprehend I think a little bit that he's in his fourth year in the program seems like he just got here but how have you seen him uh, in your time, as far as the way that younger guys or even older guys look at you? Yeah, I think you know everyone looks up to Adrian. Um, you know, if you're, whether you're a fifth-year senior or an incoming freshman. Um, you know, right when I got here, the thing I noticed about him, he took me in. I was one of his own, one of his brothers. Um, and and you know, I, I noticed his leadership um, ability right away. Um, and I think he's continued, uh, you know, to be that guy um, that everyone looks up to. So, how are the young guys looking in the room? Good, uh, you know we we've got a, a big playbook that you know they're trying to trying to learn. Uh, so you know those guys they're busting their rear ends every day, uh, and uh, you know they're developing, um, and, and they're gonna be great players. So. Anything stood out over the first week? Yeah, they're you know the way that all of them are learning the playbook. You know when I first came in here, it took me a while to to figure out all the plays, and um, you know Coach Beck and Coach Romeo. <laughs> Helping those guys um, with extra stuff, and uh, you know they're picking up pretty quick. So, is there an area of your game that you've really tried to focus on this spring? I, I think all of it. Um, you know, I when I coming in, I wasn't I wasn't uh, uh, very skilled with blocking. Um, I think I improved on that uh, uh, greatly um, when I took that redshirt year, and then uh, you know the past game as well. Um, I think. I've, I've improved on uh, since I got here, and I get props to Coach Beck and uh, Coach Lameo. Uh, and, you know, I think just, just getting out here and you know, working on foot, footwork, uh, working on speed, uh, you know, reading defenses and stuff like that, uh, just trying to get better at that. How's the offensive line looking and for some of the young guys that are sticking out to Yeah, I think, you know, our offensive line looks great. Um, you know, we got we got a bunch of young guys, you know, Turner, uh, I'm sure you guys saw that Rutgers game last year, really, really played well. Um, and then, you know, yeah, I think everybody's, everyone's looking good, so.